Hi everyone, this summer we're taking a closer look at what it means to have faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. We've been talking a lot about a man named Paul whose life changed in a big way after he met Jesus. Paul went from arresting and trying to stop people who believed in Jesus to actually believing in Jesus himself and spreading the word about Jesus. Because Paul devoted his life to sharing the message of Jesus, many Jewish people and Greek people came to believe too. But on the flip side, in nearly every town, a group of religious leaders would gather to try to stop Paul from what he was doing. These people were people that were like Paul before he met Jesus. They didn't believe that Jesus was God's son, and they certainly didn't want Paul going around telling others about him. Paul and his friends were forced to leave several cities, including Thessalonica. Then, the same group of religious leaders followed Paul to run him out of a town called Bura. Thankfully, Paul had the help of many fellow believers. They helped him escape to the coast, where he traveled to Athens. Paul left instructions for his friends, Silas and Timothy, to join him as soon as possible. When Paul arrived in Athens, he walked up and down the streets, taking in the sights of the city. He saw lots of statues as he walked. The statues were actually false gods, and the Athenians worshipped them. We didn't know what all these gods were, but we can imagine what they might have been like. Maybe they had a god of ducks. Or what about a god of crayons? Probably not, right? I doubt that these were the real gods that they were worshiping, but who knows? Basically, they thought that these gods were in charge of different things. They just hadn't heard about the one true God. While Paul waited for his friends to arrive, he visited Jewish synagogues to tell the people there both Jews and Greeks, about Jesus. He also spoke with people in the marketplace. Word spread of Paul's message about Jesus, and a group of Athenians, thinkers, wanted to know more. These thinkers were people who would think all day long. They were interested in gaining knowledge and wisdom, and Paul had ideas that they had never heard of before. So they brought Paul to a group of the high court of Athens. The men asked Paul to share his teachings, and Paul wanted to connect the story of Jesus with something they already knew. He remembered when he was walking around the city earlier and looking at all the statues of the different gods. He had seen an altar with these words, to an unknown god. Paul started by pointing out that the people of Athens were very religious. All the statues of the false gods they worshipped had made that pretty obvious. And then he said this, in Acts chapter 14, the Bible tells us that Paul said, As I walked around, I looked carefully at the things that you worship. I even found an altar with an unknown god written on it. So you don't know what you are worshipping, but you are going to but I'm going to tell you about this unknown God. Paul explained that the true God that made the entire world and everything in it, he created every individual with a purpose. And Paul said this from the Bible. It tells us that he said, God did this so that people could seek him. And perhaps they would reach out for him and find him. They would find him even though he is not that far away from any of us. Paul went on to quote some writers from Athens. He knew that the Athenians might listen to the words of their own writers, and that showed something of who God is. These writers said things like, in him we move and exist, we are his children. Paul told them that they were right. People are God's children, and God is alive and real, not some statue carved out of stone or molded from gold. Now, by sending Jesus, God had called everyone, everywhere, to turn away from the wrong things that they've done and follow him. He proved this by raising Jesus from the dead. As Paul spoke, 
Some people made fun of what he was saying, but others wanted to hear him speak about Jesus more. In fact, many Athenians became believers after hearing Paul speak, including a man and a woman. And because of Paul, they realized that the unknown God was Jesus. God had sent Jesus to be our savior so that everyone could know him personally. And Paul continued to share the good news and the love of Jesus wherever he went. Paul knew that God is the answer for everyone. So he wanted to help others know him more. Paul explained things in a way that people could relate to, in a way that they could understand. And we can do that too. We get to share who Jesus is with everyone that we meet. So let's close in prayer and ask Jesus to help us with that. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to be our savior. Thank you for giving Paul and so many others the courage to help others know about Jesus. Because they shared the good news and others continued to share it, we can know Jesus too. Please give us the strength and courage to help others know Jesus with the words we say and the way we live. We love you, and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye, boys and girls.